Warren Fogelman at the Any Game for Winning Athletes.com. And I focus on the highly driven, motivated athlete who's looking to move up in rankings by giving them the mental game strategies to maintain focus, confidence, and effectively deal with distractions to have improved performance during their competitions. Today's uh, topic is about the Los Angeles Dodgers strategy to win. There's been so much hype about what's been going on with the takeover of the team by baseball commissioner Bud Selig and that so much focus has been going on with the administrative side as if it's a corporate takeover. And what happens in corporate takeovers is that there's this top-down effect where everybody on the top has some idea of what's going on, but not too many of the pieces. So it creates chaos and it trickles down and then people wonder whether they're going to be uh, on a sinking ship and they should jump ship or whether this is going to come in and save the team or they go off into all these different things is what could possibly happen because they don't have all the information there's not really good communication and at this point Bud Seller doesn't even have the whole plan himself so it's understandable that there might be a lot of rumors going on which could affect morale so I have a plan to be able to give the players which is who we all love and know with the LA Dodgers, the players, the information and the strategy they need to really turn this around and create a winning season in order to be able to play their best game yet. And what it is, is it's focused on the acronym GOLF. And I'll tell you what those letters stand for. And the purpose is to really discover what their purpose is as a team. What is it that they can all rally around together as a team to be able to pull together and really have their best season yet and win back the hearts of the fans as well? So the first part is the G. And the G is for them to develop a team goal of what they can all rally around and even rally around with so much drive and motivation that it spreads like wildfire and the, um, the fans in LA begin to rally along with them on this common goal of unity. And then once they establish the goal, the next thing the team wants to do is they really want to be able to explore any obstacles or objections that might be in the way preventing them from reaching this team goal that they decided upon. And really to have all of those worries, those yes buts heard, and those reservations voiced in order to get them out of the way so they can move forward as a team and really come together and unite. And so if we have our goal and we have our obstacles, the next part is the list. And the list is the brainstorming session. That is coming up with every single possible thing that they could possibly do in order to hit their goal. So it doesn't matter how silly it might seem, how far out it might seem, put anything and everything on that list in order to really strategize because it gets the energy going and people kind of feed off of different people's ideas and they take it and you're gonna get that really brilliant idea coming out of this brainstorming session by developing a really good list. And the last thing that they're going to do is have something to follow through on. So what that means is they want to be able to choose one, two, or maybe three action steps from that list that they can follow through on and really feel that they will be able to commit to as a team and by doing that, they're going to go ahead and rally around a cause. They'll know their purpose as a team, and they're going to have a better season than if they don't do this because they're going to have their cause and their purpose regardless of what's going on in corporate. If you're interested in the seven mistakes most athletes unknowingly make, go to my website at In a Game for winningathletes.com, get my free special starter kit. Just put your name and email address in the upper right hand corner. You'll get it immediately so that you can find the ways to effectively deal with distractions, have more focus and confidence in order to have better performance. 
Until next time, Lauren Fogelman, in a game for winningathletes.com. More focus, more wins.